Okay, so in this video, I have made a very interesting automation for you because most of the automations of LinkedIn that I have seen anywhere usually do the same one thing and that is put in your idea inside an LLM chain and just output a post that you can schedule on LinkedIn using an automation. But I have never seen this kind of stuff. So let's say I come to my LinkedIn and I see this post, it says good post and it, it has 291 reactions and 54 comments. What I'll do is I'll just copy the link to the post. I'll come to my automation, open the chat and just paste the link and it's going to get the post, feed it to an LLM and then the magic happens and it's going to comment on that post and also add a post reaction all by itself and it's going to give me a report on my Telegram bot. So let me just paste the same post now and you see now it has my reaction and a very thoughtful comment posted on this post all by this simple automation. The reason it is so great is because usually all the automations just focus on creating content. But that is also hard. How do you get ideas? How do you get something that is not already set? I think the hack to grow your network is putting thoughtful comments on the posts that are already there, which people are sharing. And that is going to increase your reach much more than just posting and posting and hoping for the best. And this is the whole automation. Let me just show you how it notifies me on my Telegram bot as well. So this is the notification that it gives me. It gives me the post link and also the comment shared so that even if I'm on my phone, I can just check out what the post was and what was the comment that was posted. And this reaction bit is just the cherry on the top. So I'm going to explain everything to you in this video and stay tuned till the end because I'm also going to tell you how to access this whole automation and import in your workflow. Right. So first of all, let me show you what a LinkedIn node inside N8N looks like. It's super lonely. It has just one thing called as create a post. And that's how it looks like. And if I go to the official LinkedIn documentation, this is how it looks like. And they are super strict with giving uh, access to their APIs to you as a person and to do anything other than posting content as a text or as a simple text and image. You'll have to register and get verified as a company, as a developer and a lot of other things. But in this video, I'm going to bypass all of that and give you the power to do all of this and much more inside my single automation. And for that, I'm going to use something called as Unipile. So I've discovered this platform just this evening and it blew my mind because Unipile gives you a lot of powers which you cannot have otherwise in any automation platform. For example, if we only focus to LinkedIn, it's going to give us all of these features inside one single API. So we can send and reply messages, send in-mails, reactions, uh, send chat messages, send voice notes inside messages. And we can do things with user profiles. We can do posts. We can do reactions. We can do webhooks. There is a lot of things that this single API enables you to do, which is what makes it interesting. So let me take you to the dashboard of Unipile. And this is what it looks like. So right now I have attached my own LinkedIn, but I'll but let me show you how to do everything from start. So once you sign up for the service, you'll get, I think, free trial for seven days. And that should be enough for you to test things. So now you'll go to connect account. And here you will have the option to connect all of these different things. Uh, today we are only focused on LinkedIn. So we're going to choose one method. If you are okay with sharing your email and password, you can do it. Otherwise, what I have done is I have chosen the method of cookies. And for cookies, here is how you will find it. So you'll open your LinkedIn in a new tab, log into your account, open your browser console and go to application or storage tab and then open the cookies folder and find LinkedIn. Let me just show you how all of this will happen. So I'll open my LinkedIn account and I'll go to the dev tools and I'll go to the application section and here I'll go to cookies and I'll look for LinkedIn as the cookie and this is what I'm after li underscore 80 because this is what they recommend li underscore 80 and we have to click it and we have to copy this whole thing inside our this section right and that's all you have to do if you have recruiter or sales navigator subscription you also have to uh, 
give out the li underscore a which I don't have right now because I'm on a regular account. So once I do that and you click login, you'll be logged in automatically with your own account without giving away the email or the password. So once you are set up inside Unipile, that's all that you have to do. Now, if I show you the documentation of Unipile API, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go to API reference. And we are only concerned about right now is posts. So these are the things that are useful to us in this particular video. One is receive a post, one is comment a post, and one is add a reaction to a post, right? So uh, for this, you will need few things. One is your subdomain and your port. So every time you sign up for a Unipile account, you'll get a unique subdomain and a port, which is unique to you. So you'll have to enter those details right here. And then you have to make your API key. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm back to my dashboard and here I will go to access tokens and I will generate a token and I'll just name it whatever. And you can choose expiration date if you want. And then I'll probably have all of these selected because why not? And I'll generate. So this is my access token, which I can put here and I can test all of these things, which I have converted into an automation of n n So let's go there. So this is how my automation looks like. My first node is a chat node, which you can also choose to be as a telegram or an Airtable or any other thing from where you can input the data you want to have inside this workflow. And that is going to be the link of a post, right? So now the next thing is you have to figure out the post ID from that link. And usually the links of LinkedIn posts are very complicated and they look something like, let me show you. Let me go to LinkedIn. So if I copy this link right here and I go to the post, I'll show you what the link looks like. This is how the link looks like. Even if we ignore the UTM parameters, we have a lot of things that define this particular link and we are only after this particular string, right? So this string is the social post ID of this particular post and an extremely important thing, we have to ignore the things after this dash because only this is what we are after. If you are able to extract the post ID but with a dash, it's going to give you error. So what I have done is I have added a node here which is a AI node but with basic LLM chain. This is the node that I have used here and here I have instructed that find out the social post ID from my chat input, only output the post ID and nothing else. If you encounter any dashes, you know, the post ID is the number before the dash. Very, very important, right? And then I have added a model, which is my OpenAI account and ChatGPT 4.1 mini, right? Now, the next part is where we'll call Unipile API. So here we'll use the get method and the method we are going to use is get post, which is right here and which is retrieve a post so and the get url has to be this one so i'll post it here and at the end i'll have to pass only the post id and nothing else right authentication is none and these apis accept query parameters one is account underscore id which you have to paste here which you will get dashboard so if you go to accounts this in the middle would be your account ID, which you can just copy and paste here. Now you'll have to send headers. And the first would be X API key, which is the API key you have selected. And the name has to be accept an application slash JSON. And that's it. This will fetch and get your post on which all these things have to be done. All right. So, so far we have gotten the post. Now we'll add an AI agent which will do all the magic comment making on this particular post. So I'll add a node, I'll choose AI, and I'll just choose a simple AI agent like this, right? So this is my AI agent. And here I have given it a prompt that you are an expert on AI and startup. If you are in a different industry, you can choose whatever you want. And this is my prompt that I have chosen to use it for. So I have instructed that only export maximum five sentences and make it witty and cheeky and only export the response and nothing else. No explanations needed because sometimes ChatGPT tries to explain stuff and opts out a lot of other things. And these are some of my guardrails that work for me, right? So once this is done, 
This is the magic comment maker node that will make the comment depending upon the context of what the post is saying. Right now, we have to pass this comment to the Unipile API once again to comment on the post. And the endpoints for that would be comment on the post. And here, the post ID is required, the account ID is required, and the text which you want to post is again required. So, the API call looks like this. By the way, this is just an HTTP request node like this one. All of these three nodes are just simple HTTP request nodes, right? So you go here and you copy this URL to post right here. And again, the fields are going to be exactly the same as in the first one. No change in that. The only change is going to be the parameters will have one more thing which is called text. And the text will come from this comment maker. You have to drag and drop the output right here. And it will just take this output and use it as a wildcard to enter uh, the comment every single time, right? So, so far, the comment is done and you are good. Now, the cherry on the top is you can also add a post reaction, which is, I think, just really nice thing to have. So, the post reaction endpoint is right here. So, I think this only, yeah, so it takes the post ID and the account ID and it will automatically add a reaction on your behalf. So for this, this is the setting. So you have to just use the method post and use the URL which you will find right here. And authentication is none. XAPI key is in the headers, except application JSON. And here you have to pass on two things. One is post ID and one is account ID, which both are required according to the API documentation. So once this is done, this is all you have to do to make this automation. Now, I've just added one more node. So I have added a Telegram node just to notify me what is happening in the background so that I always am in the loop. And this is very easy. You can just use Telegram node and search for send message, send text message. And this is the node that you want to have, right? And this one, I have uh, chosen to have post like this. So I'm getting the post ID from the get post node right here. And this is how I'm doing it. So this is the URL where, which I want as the full clickable one, right? And the comment is coming from the magic comment maker, which is right here. And the output is what I have dragged and dropped, which is exactly what it is right now. And that completes my whole automation, right? Now, let me just quickly give you another demo how it works like. So we'll go to LinkedIn. We'll go to any post, let's say, I do this one, right? So I'll copy the link. I'll go to my automation and I'll paste that link right here. And it's getting the post. It's making the comment. It's commenting on the post. It's giving a reaction. And then it's giving me a output like this. And let's quickly go to the post. And you see my reaction and you see my comment. So this, I think, is fascinating because I haven't seen any automation doing comments and reaction. And this API can do a lot more things. Let me know if you want me to make more cool LinkedIn-specific automations, which you might find useful. And if you're new here, here is one more cool automation like this, which you want to check out. And while you're doing this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because a lot more cool automations are going to come in real soon.